Hello, hello, my dear students. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to have you here, for sure, to be here in another day, in a different class. And Rosa, how are you? How are you feeling? ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo se siente? Ya mejor ahí, recuperándome. Ah, que me alegra. Me alegra muchísimo sí. que ya esté de vuelta. Okay. Gracias. Ahí estuvimos todos pendientes de usted. <laughs> Gracias. Well, thank you very much for, for letting us know that you were eh, suffering, that you were sick, but eh, we are very happy that you are here. Okay. So, hello. Una pregunta, teacher. Yeah. El, el, lo de la... ¿Cómo se llama? Lo de la boleta. Ajá. Se va a enviar a, me imagino que el mismo correo de siempre. Sí, al mismo correo de siempre, yo creo que es al, al que les han estado enviando, si no, igual se la pueden, con, es, es, es el, siempre el mismo correo de inglés corporativo, igual yo lo enviaría al WhatsApp de la chica que nos están viendo los mensajes y al, al, al correo, ah, para que estén las ajá. dos <ríe> cubiertas. Ok, sí, sí, sí. Sí, entonces yo creo que por las dos vías es, es bastante bueno. Ok, gracias. Ok. Creo que todos ya lo enviaron, vea. Mañana creo que es el último día para enviarlo en la tarde, si no me equivoco. Es solo el comprobante que les enviaron, ese lo imprimen, lo llenan, supongo, y lo envío. ¿O cómo es el proceso? Sí, así es, teacher. Ok, perfect. So, you have to fill it up, you have to print it. You have to fill it up and then you have to take a picture or you can scan it back. So it is done. Well, my dear class, I am very glad to have the opportunity to be together with you. Today in the afternoon, I sent you a message. Did you have the opportunity to see it? Tuvieron la oportunidad de ver lo que les envié en la tarde? No, teacher. Bloqueada la teacher. <laughs> The, it was about the profession, right? It was about the professions and uh, one profession that you really admire. For example, if you say, well, I really, well, in my case, for example, I have always wanted to be a veterinarian. That's my dream. I wanted to be a veterinarian. And for sure, because you have the opportunity to be with animals and everything, to work with them, etc. cetera. So, uh, I have always liked it, but there are some advantages and disadvantages of being a veterinarian. What do you think are the advantages? ¿Cuáles creen ustedes que son las ventajas de ser veterinario? You can help to, to the animals of your friends. You can take care of the animals of your friends uh, in a lower price, right? Not for free, <laughs> in a lower price. You can take care of, of many animals from your friends. You can also uh, have a lot of animals because I love animals. Some of the disadvantages will be that uh, the animals might die and you might be like, hmm. So you might be very sad about it and it might be very difficult for you to go over. It might be a little bit bloody because you can be like with a lot of blood and things. So those are the disadvantages. Being a veterinarian might be very good, might be very uh, exciting, but it might also be very sad because for sure you have to deal with many animals. So those are kind of the examples that uh, we might have. And we are going to start building up the idea today so we can have it. Okay, so yesterday, we started doing this one, okay? We started doing this one and uh, we assigned this one as a homework, right? I ask you to complete it, right? On uh, your own, right? We Here we have the different sentences. When someone gives me a compliment, what is the next option that we have here? When I get, 
phone calls on my birthday. What is option number three? When a stranger, what happens? Asks me for money. When a stranger asks me for money. The next one? When teacher tempe, no, no, excuse me, when <laughs> people call me late at night. When people call me late at night, right? Imagine me, hello, how are you? Are you working on the platform? <laughs> it would be like, hello, teacher. ¿Qué pasó? Todo bien en casa. <laughs> well, so let me see. The next one is when teachers are temperamental. What is the meaning of temperamental? You have a strong mood. When so you serious. Very good. When you have a strong mood, when you are very, like in some cases, you are very close minded. When you are temperamental, you are very close minded and you are like, that's the way it is. And that's the way it is. Right. Mm -hmm. If you say it's yellow, even if it is yellow, you are never going to accept it. So that is temperamental and that you get angry very easy. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have the experience of having a temperamental teacher? Abran su corazón. Díganle a Nati. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, I, I remember that when I was in, in sixth grade, when I was in sixth grade, I had a very strong and temperamental uh, principal, right? La directora del colegio. She was very angry and she used to hit students with a big ruler. And we were like, ah, ah. we were afraid of her. It was very difficult, but I hope she doesn't do it anymore. I never got hit by her, but because I was well behaved. A mí nunca me tocó, pero sí vi Muchas, muchas nalguitas que pasaron por esa regla. It was hard. <laughs> Did you ever uh, experience a temperamental teacher? No, teacher. I have never. Oh, all of them are okay. nice. Carlita? I had, a, I had a teacher of language. I hate, I hate her because <laughs> all the time... She is angry she, from time to time. She wants to, uh, how do you say it, Lecture. Ah, lecture, huh? lecture. Lecture. Okay, let me send it on the chat. <laughs> I will send it to you on the chat. That's a new word. <clears throat> okay, when you have lecture, it's like, you can na 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 na. That's lecture. But punish, punish mm -hmm. is when you hit, right? That is the difference. Lecture is just like, ustedes que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto, que no hacen esto, okay. But punish is like when you hit the person, okay? Castigo, pero castigo con golpe, severo. And lecture is just regaño, right? Carlitos? There were many, many tasks, homeworks and homeworks. When she, when that, when that teacher uh, arrived. Oh my God. To so, so that was a very hard time, right? It was very hard times for you. Good. Uh, the next one that we have here is when people are, are direct and say what's on their mind. The next one, when someone. Correct. Correct my English in front of others. When someone corrects my English in front of others, right? When a friend is sensitive and supportive. And when people throw trash on the ground. It's like, nah. what we were talking about uh, some days ago. And when a friend treats me to dinner. Yes, Carlos, you are going to say something? Carlito, you want to say something? No, 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 no. Okay. <clears throat> so here we have, 
How did you complement them? ¿Cómo las complementaron? ¿Cómo completaron esas oraciones? What example do you have for number one? Someone who can give me an example? In the I first like one, I like it. I love it. I like it. I love it, right? For sure, In right? I like it when someone gives me a compliment. ¿Quién se va a enojar, verdad? ¿Quién se va a molestar? <laughs> well, <clears throat> in some cases, depending, depending, uh -huh. <laughs> no, 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 depending who's giving you the compliment, the compliment, right? Depending who is. <laughs> depending who's the person, right? Because uh, if, if you have a very toxic person that is always behind you, right? Imagínese ese, ese tóxico que todo el mundo, todo el tiempo lo anda siguiendo, ¿verdad? Bien bonita usted. Y yo... <laughs> Con right. <laughs> uh -huh. Imagine if it is a strange, if it is a stranger, yeah. So you have to you have to consider it, right? Who, who, who is giving you the compliment? But I like it, right? Many people like it. Uh, the next one, number two. What do you have for number two? It makes me happy when I get phone calls on my birthday. It makes me happy. Another example? In my case, I don't like it. Really? Why? Because I, I like to, to be uh, in front of beside ah. people. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> if they want to say happy birthday, face to face, <laughs> not so by phone. <laughs> give or help present rather than Oh, uh, yeah. Then <laughs> Jenny, tell me. No, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I yeah. can't. It is like Carlos. Carlos is like uh, in the moment when they say like, I love you. Ba, ba, ba. Happy birthday. I forgot your gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo es? Perdón. <laughs> you for I Se me olvidó tu regalo, they say. And go, go and get it. <laughs> it's not, there's no problem. Right? I can wait. <laughs> Or when they say, te lo debo. Mm -mm -mm. Te lo debo for Christmas. No. Yeah. Oh, a... <laughs> good. That's a good, a good thing, right? Better face to face. Number three. What do you have for number three? I don't like it. I... Uh -huh. I can stand it. I can stand oh, it, right? It I don't really like it really upsets me, right? It really upsets me. Yeah, imagine if maybe in, in your office, right? There is a person that you don't talk to and then it's just like, hey, can you lend me $50? And it's like, <laughs> hello, <laughs> where from? <laughs> Number four. Will... Uh-huh. Yes, yeah. I will, I will, I will tell him. You have to to work to work harder. You have to work harder. You have to work harder in order to have money, right? Indeed, it happens, right? That people are very, very like confident, and they just say, like, "Hey, you do you have one hundred dollars that you can lend me?" It's like, no, Cucatlan over here, <laughs> Banco Agrícola, right? <laughs> and in some cases you don't have I mean even for you how are you going to have to give to others right number four what do you have for number four I it can stand me. maybe I can stand it it annoys me right it uh, annoys yeah. me when people call me late yeah, it's like, I, I really, I really annoyed. I, I feel really annoyed by that, right? It is like, what do you want? And in, is it an emergency? And it's like, no, ya te he dormido. No, I wait, I wait for phone calls at one in the morning. Yeah, definitely. Yo me quedo despierta para ver si alguien me llama. No, right? 
And that's a very <laughs> common question, a very common question that you say like, hello, <gasps> está dormida. No, at one in the morning, no, for sure. When <laughs> teachers are temperamental. I don't like, I like it. You like it? <laughs> Who I don't like it? Ah, you like don't like it. I said like, okay. Yeah. Yes, Arturo. All the negative. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. I said like, I like it. <laughs> Masochism. I no. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, no, no. When people are direct and say what's on their mind. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Very yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. Yeah, I what prefer. I, yeah, I prefer I that. Do. I prefer, yes. Definitely. Have you, ever, uh, have you ever experienced that you knew something about you that you didn't know? Like, if you say like, Hey, I didn't know that from me. That's that's a new chamber, right? Ese chamber no lo sabía de mí. <laughs> How that happened, right? Nunca les pasó que se enteraron de algo que ni ustedes sabían de ustedes mismos. And it's like, wow, that's new, right? That's very new. Well, <laughs> yeah, and everybody, all of them were were in 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 that, and you didn't know. Number seven, when someone corrects my English. Um, I like it. I it, like it. it, yeah. it doesn't bother me. I don't mind. I don't another mind. I don't learning, mind. For learning. Yeah. Another way for learning. But when someone corrects my English in front of others. Is it normal? I like it when it's a very good person in English, right? A person that is very good in English, yes. But if you say like someone who, who is correcting me in the wrong way, I would be like, ah, <laughs> come on. <laughs> it's no, 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 it's children, it's children's. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you very much. Let's <laughs> say Oh, I, I will I will get it. <laughs> I like I always say thank you. I, I always say thank you, even when it is not correct. The next one. When a friend is sensitive and supportive. Hmm. I love it when. You love it? Yeah. Me too. Let me see. When people throw trash on the ground. Um it annoys I don't me. Like it. it annoys me when. It annoys you, right? It annoys. It annoys you, me. I, I hate that. Get, you can get attacks. Exactly, in right? Opinion. Yeah, in, it, you, it, in the new law. Of, of yes. Yeah, you can get a you can get a ticket if you throw if you throw garbage on the ground. And when a friend treats me to dinner. Hmm, it's made me happy. <laughs> when you are invited, right? It's really, it's really makes me happy. <laughs> that really, that really makes everybody happy, right? When a friend invites you for dinner, for sure, it's very, very, very good. I mean, it is I something. Love... <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I, I love it definitely or to anything to to for dinner for a coffee for for anything it is really awesome i really all like three it is, is, is will coming <laughs> yeah or all of a sudden you know i work i work near uh, salvador del mundo and there is a, a very famous fruit place there and uh, one day my secretary was like miss can I come in? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she had a, some fruit for me. And I was like, oh, it makes me very happy <laughs> when I when I receive <laughs> gifts like that. Yeah. Regalos inesperados. That's fantastic. <laughs> so I really love them. 
Well, so as you can see here, this is the way that we can express our feelings, right, with the different clauses with these all these uh, starting points, right? I don't mind it. And then when, and then the subject, and then the verb, and the complement. Just make sure that you are using the complete sentence, okay? Así como lo vimos ayer. So please make sure that you use complete sentences. Well, friend or unfriend, here we have it. This uh, is, this, this is uh, related to the cyber friends or the social media. I think many of you are from my same time, right? Did you ever use Hi-Fi? Yes. Yes. Did you use yes. the chat? The online chat? ¿Alguna vez alguno de ustedes se metió algún chat en línea? ¿Dónde había gente? De todos lados. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, I, I... Uh -huh. um, I was on on um uh I I can't remember the name of this app um Messenger but no 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 is is another but I I have I have a conversation with people um from United States for for practice um, for English abilities. Nice. Um, hey, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but um, I I don't have time on during the day. And oh, to do it I, anymore. Yes. Okay. Here, uh, I will send you a link. Well, I will send you a, a place there in the chat that it's very famous and you use it for uh, speaking with different people from different countries. Okay, that's the name of the place, Preford Talk. But uh, I can send you the link. Okay, le voy a enviar el link para que puedan tener acceso directo. And there are like little rooms to practice and they have basic English, beginners, conversation, social conversation, but everything is related to education, right? It's nothing like social, right? Ay, vos soltero, casado. No, no, no. It is to practice English, right? To practice many other languages because we have, well, there are, I think, all the different types of languages and that it's a very good site for you to enter and practice your English is very good, right? I really, I really like it. I enter from time to time and it is it is really cool, right? You have the chance to practice with people there, with native speakers, and that's like the best part. So here we have a little reading about friend or unfriend. And this one is related to the social media. Do you really accept everybody who sends you an invitation on social media? Yes or no? Yes. No. <clears throat> so if you say, ah, Pepe el Toro me envió una invitación, ve, lo voy a aceptar. <laughs> oh, Ricky Martin, Ricky Martin con, con G. <laughs> Wants to be my friend. <laughs> Pepe el <Accept>. Toro. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro Infante <laughs> wants to be my friend. Yes. So it is very, very dangerous to accept everybody on the chat or on WhatsApp or on Instagram or on TikTok or whatever other social media. So you have to actually know if the person is your friend or no. If you really know this person or if you have things in common or friends in common with this person. So in this case, uh-huh. Uh, there, are, there, are, there are business look for, look for you to so you can chat really from time to, from time, to time uh, some business look for people who who want to speak in in whatever role for example um lona go 
I was in into the group of Bitcoin in Telegram. Uh -huh. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't know about it, but that girl. Uh, I think uh, it look look me look for me. Uh huh. Look at me. It look for me. Uh huh. There are there are many people are are speaking different language. Oh, that's pretty they, interesting. Propaganda, um, uh, advertising, about, advertising, ad advertising uh, about Bitcoin. Yes, I believe. I, I believe you you don't need to to get into a group for chatting. <clears throat> hey, that's that's and really interesting. Yes, many people just look for just they just look for you and they try to get you and try to get you into conversation. And in some cases you are like, hey, I don't really know this person, but they start talking about the topics that you are interested in. That's pretty curious. But there are many others <clears throat> that they say, es que si invierte 10 dólares con nosotros, you are going to get 100. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it's like, no, no, it's not pyramid and everything is like, uh-huh. Or they say, Send me a picture of your Dewey back and front. Mm -hmm. And people just like, ah, mira, me, 10 dólares por la foto del Dewey. And then they steal their identity and everything. So you have to be very, very careful. Let's see. Yeah. Lily, Lily, can you help me to, to start reading, Lillian? Um, yeah. Go ahead. Can you sure. help me to read? Um, oh, yeah. Yes, Jose <clears throat> Do you help me? I can see the the your, um the screen. Your screen, yes. Okay, just I will stop sharing, and I will share again. Lo voy a compartir de vuelta. Teacher, thank you. Yeah. Uh, could you share the picture in the chat in WhatsApp? Yes, for sure. I will do it okay. right now. Thank you. I will do it right now. Now, can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. But I will send the picture uh, in, in WhatsApp as well. And it is also on your manual. I send some manual también, but I will send it to you. Don't worry. <clears throat> there you go. Chan, chan, chan. There it is. Okay. So, Lily, help me to read the first part. So, okay. Okay. Go working. Hmm? Here, here, here. Up to this line. Uh, up to friends online. Right here. This one is the first paragraph. It will finish right here. Okay. okay. You will finish here. And the second okay. paragraph will finish right here. Okay. Okay. Go, go little. Okay. Social networking make it very easy to have friends. Lots and lots of friends. Hundreds of millions of people have joined Facebook or Coop and other sites so that they can communicate with their friends online. Thank you. Josue Isaias, can you continue? Okay. However, the meaning of the word friends seems uh, to have changed. In the past, a friend was someone you had a close personal relationship with. Now, anyone in the world can be your friends online. Someone people have thousands of cyber friends, but what do you do if you don't want so many friends? Very good job. Let's continue. Sandra Cecilia, please. If uh, uh, you can dump an um, unwanted friend with just one click of your mouse in recent years, it has become too, so common 
to get right of friends in this way that there is a new word to the strip the strip it to unfriend the new Oxford American dictionary dictionary name is word of the years in 2080s and the Define, define it like this, uh -huh, to okay. remove someone as a friend from a social networking site. Okay, very good. I will ask Jose Arturo to continue. Um, but, but, why would you, but why would you want to such as drastic things? Um, on friend someone. Okay, you're going um, to finish on um, frequently. Continue, continue. Uh, the most, the most common reason for unfriendly someone is to eliminate annoying people from your social life. For example, don't friend post message much too frequently and those messages can be extremely boring. Okay, extremely boring. Thank you. <clears throat> Let me see. I am going to ask Ever to continue, and Rosa is going to finish it. On the website. Okay. Yes. And those messages can be extremely boring. They endlessly put the status of the say things like in cooking dinner or. I do my homework. Another reason for inviting someone is disagreeing or for issues. A big reason is to get right at people who write nasty things on social websites. And Rosa, finish. Uh, drone chopping, chopping, friend dumping, is dumping. no chopping, friend is no John um, the internet, phone man. For more on life, friendship, and so, certainly the us like one one is even if the computer uh, again it from might to the many people prefer the baby time together face to face after I the what the what friend are for. Okay, thank you, Rosa. Thank you for all the ones who helped me to read. Thank you very much for your support. People, do you have any new word that you don't know the meaning? Hmm. That, that you say, teacher, I don't really know what's the meaning of this. Dump. I don't dump. Know what's okay, you can um, dump. Mostly. What is the meaning of dump? Ooh. Get it, get rid of it. Shepherd, yeah. Dump. It's like that's it. You can dump an unwanted friend, but dump is this action. Dump es la acción de tirar o remover, quitar así bruscamente. That is to dump. Uh, another one. Hmm. Read, get. Okay. Read. Get rid. Get rid is like mm. deshacerte de. Get rid is like liberarte, deshacerte de algo. For example, when you divorce, you get rid of your wife. Oh, nice. <laughs> you get rid of your husband, right? When, uh, for example, in some cases, some parents, when the kids start in kindergarten, they get rid of them, right? It's like, ay, ya empezó el kinder, Gloria. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, adios, señor, que le quede. Adios, no vemos. Ya, lo veo en la tarde. And they get rid of the kids, right? Liberarse, deshacerse de. Okay, another question. Mm. Endlessly. 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 Endlessly is like sin final. Endlessly. Endlessly. Uh, no, it's an adverb. It's an adverb. And what it is? Let me see. 
Where is uh, it? So, what's that? Although. No, some people have two oceans. Okay, let me see. Where is it? In which paragraph? Um, ah, thousands. Thousands. Thousand. Miles. Miles de miles. Uh, uh -huh. Some people have thousands of cyber friends. No han conocido a alguien que tenga como cinco mil amigos en Facebook. <laughs> and you say like, what? What do you want so many friends for? It's like, are you going to open a fan club or something like that? Okay. <laughs> uh, what was the other one? Uh, where was Endlessly? ¿Dónde estaba Endlessly? Let me see. Teacher. Yep. Uh, friendly. Friendly. Ah, they, endless, they endlessly post, right? Here it is. Okay. Teacher, unfriending. Yep. I'm friend. unfriending. Okay, I'm unfriending. Friend. Unfriending is the opposite of accepting a friend. And unfriend is like, I know, ya, te voy a borrar. <laughs> unfriending oh, is like when okay. you. Desamigar. <laughs> desamigar, indeed. But in Facebook, <laughs> how do you call that in Facebook? Cuando usted busca, ¿verdad? quiero ver, Lilian Estela es mi mejor amiga. <gasps> Bloqueado. Oh, oh. really? Esta página no da resultado. Este usuario no existe. And you are like, oh, but we were friends. Okay. And it's like, error. <laughs> you are not friends anymore. So that she unfriend you, right? It's like, ay, no, es que te bloqueé el Facebook. <laughs> Do you have people? Do you know people who are always posting things on Facebook? Pero que postean todo, todo, todo. Do you have friends like that? Yes. yes. I have a friend. Many friends. <laughs> Many friends. Claudia Yanet, do you have a friend who is always posting food on Instagram? I yes. <laughs> Jocotes. ¿Cómo se dice? Me pone harta ver eso. <laughs> We just learn it. Wait, 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 wait. It's right here. Wait, 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 wait. I have it. I have it right here. Where is it? Where is it? It's just right here. Aquí lo tenemos. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. It annoys me. Me molesta, right? It annoys me. They yeah. post everything, right? They say, uh, no sé, eh, pupusa time. Tamales time, eh, spaghetti, <laughs> coffee time, I mean, <laughs> time. <laughs> cookies time, and they, <laughs> Starbucks time, and Starbucks, and they have the same thing that says Starbucks, <laughs> like from February, and they post it, <laughs> they post the thing, it's like, el mismo vaso de allá por febrero, but it's Starbucks time, <laughs> and they post everything. <laughs> So it makes you feel annoyed, okay? Let's see. So that's a reason for you to unfriend someone. It's like, I know, ching, ching, block. <laughs> for you to unfriend a person. Any other question? Algún otro, otra palabra de vocabulario que no sepamos o que es nueva para nosotros? Alto, alto, alto. Although, 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 a pesar de, o a pesar que, although it's a connector, although it's a connector that you use with paragraphs for you to join ideas, right? A pesar de, right, that it's although. A pesar que, bloquear a los amigos no es justo, Digo que no es solo un fenómeno de internet, ¿ok? Más allá de las relaciones online, so, a pesar de, o, aún cuando, so, it can have the same meaning, right? Aún cuando, bloquear a los amigos, no es solo un, un fenómeno de internet, because you do it face to face. Have you ever blocked a person face to face that you don't want to be his or her friend anymore? And you say like, I know, ni le contesto, ni le hablo, ni nada. It's enough. 
it happens also in the real life, right? It happens in the real life for uh, the same thing. No, I am going to call the attendance right now. Thank you very much, Gladys. I was going to do it after the reading. So um, that is the meaning of although. Any other one before the attendance? Antes de que pase la lista, alguna otra que se nos quede? Yes, no? Nasty. Which one? Nasty. N A S T. T Y. N T Y. Let me see. Where is it? In to which paragraph? Nasty. Reading. Um, people who reading nasty. Okay, let me see. Cha, 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 cha. Right in the end of the third paragraph. Right. Ah, yes, people who write nasty, nasty huh? things nasty. on social websites. It happens a lot now on uh, Facebook. Nasty. Nasty comments. Is the comentarios sucios o comentarios desagradables, right? It is a very, very common thing, right? Now on Facebook, it's like people just enter to read the comments, right? Algunos comentarios son bastante ofensivos. They are very nasty. They are very bad. So many people do that on social websites, right? It is a very common thing, right? Si no, vayan a leer todos los comentarios de nuestros TikTokers salvadoreños. It is a very crazy thing, right? Some people love them, some people hate them. So those are nasty. Nasty son como sucios, feos, right? That's nasty, disgusting, right? Algo bien desagradable. So that's the meaning. Okay, I am going to stop sharing because I'm going to call the attendance. And remember, when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present, my dear class. Let me see, Alejandra Cristina. Here. Thank you. Uh, Astrid Michelle. <clears throat> Astrid Michelle. No. Hey, Astrid. Astrid nos ha dejado esperándole. Blanca Estela. Blanquita. As well. Eh, Carlos Alfredo. Present. Thank you. Claudia Yanet. Present, Present teacher. Thank you. Ever de Jesús. Present, Miss. Thank you. Gabriel Stephanie. Griselda Elizabeth. Here, teacher. Gladys Imelda. Present. Jasmine Vanessa. Presence. Thank you. Joaquín Ruperto. Hey, Joaquincito. Ya me hacía raro que no lo había escuchado. José Arturo. Presente. Thank you. José Emanuel. Josué Isaías. Present teacher. Thank you. Lilian Estela. Present. Thank you. Luis Fernando Enríquez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Luis Roberto Flores. Present. Thank you very much. Uh, Madeline Gabriela. Manuel Aristides. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Olivia Emanuel. Present, teacher. Paola María. Present, teacher. Rosa Esmeralda. Present, teacher. Sandra Cecilia. Present. Walter René. Present, teacher. And Jenny Maritza. Present, teacher. Thank you very, very much for uh, the attendance. Thank you for answering. And I have, let me see, one, two, three people, four, five, six people missing today. Okay, so... 
Yes. Well, we are going to continue with the last activity that we are going to do today. I am going to work on the little talk that we have about the jobs. And why? Because the next topic that we are going to be covering, it is about jobs. And we are going to be using this topic with some gerunds. Before we go about, before we go over the topic, I need you to think about this one. I need you to think about this one for a moment. What do you consider the most dangerous profession, the most boring, the most challenging, the easiest, the most rewarding, the most well-paid, the most exciting, the most interesting, the most exhausting, and the most complicated profession? You can tell me, teacher, the most boring uh, profession is a librarian. Lawyer. lawyer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a lawyer. I don't know. Depending. What do you consider the most boring? It's like, uh... ¿Cuál profesión pondrían ustedes en el top one de las más aburridas? Psychologist. <laughs> but psychology, psychology, um... the psychologist do you consider it boring well depending if you like the gossip you don't, you don't feel it boring it's like ah, depend, tell me. Of the, depend of the chamber <laughs> depending on the chamber <laughs> what do you consider the most dangerous hmm. um electrician Electrician, yes, it is my top one. Yeah, the most dangerous profession. Another one that you consider dangerous? Um, fire worker. A fire work, okay, a fireman, a fireman or a fire fighter. Good. Easy. Which one do you consider the easiest? It's like, ah, that's easy. A teacher, you say. <laughs> What is the easiest? Game player. Okay. Uh, 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 okay, any type of player, a soccer player, a tennis player. I think all professions have a, a complicated level. Okay, they have a level of difficulty, right? All of them have a level of difficulty. Because for example, oh, you... <laughs> yeah, that can be easy. Many, for example, imagine if you tell me, an artist teacher, a los artistas, but they have to practice. They have to practice and practice and memorize and everything. So it is kind of complicated. Which one you consider rewarding? Do you know the meaning of rewarding? I don't know, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, rewarding uh, es que te remunerado. Llena. No, no, rewarding. Well paid is remunerado, right? Oh. Rewarding es que te llena la vida así como, hey, me, me llena de, de, en, mi, en mi lado social, en mi lado personal. Satisfaction. Exactly. Exactly. Photographer. Yeah. Uh, volunteer in, in ONGs. Okay. To volunteer, right? Uh, to be a volunteer. Very good. That's rewarding, definitely. You know. Uh, uh -huh. In my case. Uh -huh. Which one? Which other? A sociologist. Yeah, that's a, that's really rewarding, right? Because you actually get something back, right? Get something back from everything that you do. Well paid jobs. Mm. <laughs> United States president. <laughs> the United States <laughs> president. <laughs> English call center. <laughs> <laughs> well, the call centers. You know, that and is lawyer. a, that, the lawyers, right? Um, that is a mix, definitely. When you say, for example, uh, the call center, a call center agent yeah. or manager or whatever, it's a mix of challenging, uh, exhausting, complicated, stressing, etc. right? But it's well paid, definitely. If you do a yeah. big effort, it is well paid. An exciting profession. That you say, yeah, I love it. Quiet 
a flight attendant. A yeah. Okay, good. And the other one, good, very nice. Another exciting profession. What about the dancers? Which one? I know. Uh, I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> Come uh, on. English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. A pilot. The tempayaki table chef. Yeah, yeah. When they, when they are cooking and they are throwing yeah. things. Yes, definitely. So, any profession that you do with love and passion will be exciting. Si ustedes aman lo que están haciendo, you will be excited every day. It is like, yeah, the class, the teacher, the student, yeah. I love my job. I love it. And for me, every day. I love trying things. So you see? So it is It is a yes. matter of enjoying. Enjoying yes, everything. Yes, because it, it, I'm sorry. It, the, about the photography for me is not just take a picture or for uh, some people. Exactly. You are living the moment of that person, right? And that yes, is I, that I, is I the... count history. Exactly. You are, you, you are you are telling stories through the pictures. That's really nice. And one job that you consider exhausting, it's like, oh my god. Ah, exhausting. Scientific. A scientific. A doctor. Yes. A nurse. Yes. Accountant. Account. Yeah. Engineers. Oh my God. Yeah. Also, you know, the people, uh, all the janitors, todos los, los ordenanzas, all the people that are in charge of the cleaning. And they are so important that I think in a company, they should be the number one. Yo creo que en una compañía, todos los encargados de limpieza tendrían que tener el puesto más importante. Construction yes. workers. The too. construction workers as well. Yes. I hear a teacher. Yeah. So eh, that is exhausting, right? Imagine the nurse. Imagínense todas las enfermeras durante el COVID. It was like, oh my God. <laughs> In all cover, right? Eh, mi, mi hermana es, es eh, radióloga. Y ella se ponía el traje, el no sé qué, tres mascarillas, no sé. And it was so, I was like, how can you she do it? <laughs> how can you do it? Yeah, I really admire them, definitely. Yo, ¿cómo respiran allá adentro? <laughs> it is so terrible. And the last one, complicated. Tell me one job that you consider complicated. one job that you consider complicated that you say <laughs> astronauts the astronauts right the astronauts the also the reporters the reporteros the journalists scientific. a scientific yeah an office manager, yeah, it can the be a policeman, maybe the, the policeman, very good. The policeman has they have a very complicated job. All the militars also. It is it is pretty difficult, it's pretty complicated. So based on this Sellers. idea, the sellers, right? Sellers. The, yeah, <laughs> the sellers because uh, I mean, they have to Our look. delivery men, teacher. The delivery people as well. Poor people. That's really difficult. Mire, pero usted me dijo que era una casa blanca. Sí, pero es como blanca amarilla. Era blanca. It was. It was at the beginning of the of 2000. <laughs> so, the based on this. Based on this is uh, what I ask you to investigate about, right? When you talk about a profession and you say, for example, 
Uh, I have here a couple of, of examples that you say, being a flight attendant sounds exciting. Designing clothes is not a men's job. And it is indeed, they do very good job. Working as a veterinarian could be rewarding. Directing a TV show will be interesting. And on the other part, when you use the gerunds as objects, he would love, I le encantaría, he would love being a flight attendant. He wouldn't like being a fashion designer. She will enjoy working with animals. She would be good at directing a TV show. When you have a gerund phrase, right? Los gerunds son las formas de ING que tenemos en este caso. You say, being a fly attendant, designing clothes, working as a veterinarian, directing a TV show, right? En estos no son presente continuo, por ejemplo. Estos son gerunds, right? Because you are using the verb with the ING form to express something, right? If you can see here, you don't have a subject on the sentence at the beginning. En realidad, en esta oración no tienen un sujeto específico. Tienen un sujeto un poco ahí entre la oración. You say like, being a flight attendant sounds exciting. Todo eso es su inicio. The gerund phrase. Designing clothes. De eso estamos hablando. It's not a man's job. Working as a veterinarian. That would be your subject. Could be rewarding. Directing a TV show would be interesting. So, on your participation, I am going to give you the last five minutes of the class to practice. On your participation, you are going to talk about this. For example, you will say, I really admire veterinarians because they are very good and this and that and that. Being a veterinarian is important because you help animals. Working eh, as a veterinarian could be very rewarding because you can help. Uh, animals and pets, right? Uh, working every single day with animals can be dangerous because they can bite you or things like that. You can also build up your sentences using this type of gerund phrases. Traten de incluir, al menos ahora que van a medio practicar y mañana que ya hacemos la presentación formal de eh, las profesiones, traten de incluir una que otra gerund phrase Like, for example, being a doctor uh, sounds really exciting because you can help people. Uh, working with people, working in a hospital, um, I don't know, attending patients uh, would be really interesting because you can interact with others. Okay, so that's kind of the idea. Right now, I am going to send you to work for these last minutes of the class in groups and you are going to talk a little bit about the profession that you are interested in, okay? Van a platicar un poquito con su pareja acerca de la profesión que les gusta, okay? And eh, cómo lo consideran ustedes, ventajas y desventajas de esta, okay? So I am going to send you to the little groups for only three minutes, three to five minutes, okay? So please, I am going to do it like this. Yes. Okay? There you go. Go and practice with your friends about the profession that you like. Go ahead. Accept my little invitation to the groups. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Lily, no le llegó mi invitación a los grupos. No. Ahorita se la reenvío.
let me see i will send it to you Paula María, tampoco le llegó mi invitación. Hola, Paulita. And advantages and disadvantages. 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 Advantages and disadvantages, right? Advantages okay. and disadvantages. Okay. Indicate a reporter. Uh, advantage. It's a no place and different people. Different um, people, people. People. What profession are you talking about? Uh, this advice. The teacher. Ah. In the case, uh, <laughs> a famous one. <laughs> Okay, let me just see some. Okay. Ok, I, I send you back. Los mandé a traer para que nos preparemos. Better for tomorrow. Ok. Ok. I decided that you can do it better for tomorrow, ok? Prepare your information. Prepare your information. Organize it. Try to include some gerunds, right? Organicen, traten de incluir una que otra Jerron phrase en el momento de presentar y así ya la pueden traer más estructurada el día de mañana. Ok. So, work on that. Work on your mini presentation. It's like only one minute. Ok. But get ready and prepare it correctly. Traten de incluir las Jerron phrases. Reorganicen un poco la idea. And we're going to be presenting that tomorrow. Ok. Así que mañana todos vamos a estar aquí talking and presenting okay that will be tomorrow so today that's all for our class and i really appreciate you being here i really thank you for being here my dear students and i will see you tomorrow then for the next class thank you teacher. have a beautiful night have a good night bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.